As requested on the forum, this will be a quick overview of how to use BCNC with a Shapeoko 3. Uh, I will do an initial setup of the machine and get it all the way to starting a job. First off, you need to bring up the BCNC program. Mine is on a C drive on my computer under BCNC. There is a Windows batch file named BCNC that will actually run the program. We will run. Now my shape Oco 3 automatically connected. Um, under file, there's a connect on startup. If your shape Oco 3 is on before you start the program, with this button checked, it will automatically start up. You'll also notice that my port on Carbide Motion Board version 2.3 is COM4. On version 2.1 it was COM3. Um, it automatically detected this and then my baud rate is the 115200. Uh, everything seems to work correctly at that. So the first thing I do when I bring up the software is I home the Shapeoko. I do have homing switches from Carbide 3D installed on my Shapeoko 3. So I'll go ahead and press the homing button. You'll see the machine go to the back right corner with the Z all the way up. So that lets the machine know exactly where it is. Now I'm going to set the work position on the piece that I'm actually going to work on here. So I have an option of the G54 workspace, G55 workspace, 56, 57, 58, and 59. I tend to use a G54. Um, it always comes back up to that location even if I have to power down the shape Oco for a disconnect or um, tool change or if something happens broken bit and I actually lose power that G54 is always kept in the memory. So what I'll do is I'll actually jog and step the machine. This uh, pull down here will actually allow you to change the steps. Um, typically I run a 10 to move it where I want to. Uh, this moves it in the, in the forward Y position, uh, the left X position, and your Z up and down. The center button will home to whatever uh, G workspace that you have set up. So you want to make sure you don't hit that. Um, I actually tend to zero out my Z to make sure I don't drive my bit into the workspace while I'm moving around and I actually hit the, accidentally hit the center button. So we're going to go ahead and move this to the workpiece. I'm going to move my Z down. Once you get closer to the position, you can start fine-tuning uh, your steps. So I'll move to one to make sure that I'm not going to put it through my workpiece here. I'll start moving it. Like a little bit more here, and we'll come back to here. And then we're actually going to uh, set the Z with a piece of paper. Um, I tend to use the paper method, it seems to work fine for me. So we're going to get it a little bit closer to the where we want it. Bring the Z down. And then I'm going to go into an even finer tune. Uh, 0.05. I'm going to make sure that the machine is exactly where I want it to be. So the X and Y look good. So we can go ahead and zero those out. Uh, you zero out by pressing the buttons at the top below the uh, W position and M position. That will now be zero of my X, zero of my Y, and then I'll continue to set the, the Z. And what I do is just bring it down until it just touches, and that will be my Z zero. Now, I always bring the bit back up and out of the way to make sure that when I turn the router on, 
I don't accidentally carve into my piece, especially if there's nothing carved out on that zero, zero, zero position. So now I moved it up about uh, eight millimeters over the piece. Um, everything is zeroed and I'm ready to go. So now I will open and I have my files located on my C drive under C and C files. Uh, for this one, I'm going to choose my company logo. We're going to open that up. And what we should see is that come into zero, zero position. Now I can zoom and pan. Uh, you can pan using the center scroll wheel. You can zoom using the buttons up here. And what you can see is that is truly zero, zero of my design. So at this point, you're ready to start. You've zeroed, you've homed your machine. You've gone through and set the work position to zeros to the center of your workpiece. Um, so if you have to do a bit change during the per, during the run, you are, you can actually get back to zero zero zero. Um, the last thing you want to make sure, and this will catch you, uh, I draw in inches. If you draw in millimeters, you're going to be okay. But the units measure here next to the distance of absolute, you want to make sure that if you drew an inch. You set this to inch before you start your run. Um, if you don't, you are going to be uh, about 25.4 millimeters smaller than you think you'll be. Uh, and I know firsthand on, on what happens with that. So that's it. That's the overview. Uh, basically, once we're done with that, we can start the router. We can start our job. And what you'll see, the nice thing about B, C, and C is you'll actually see the, the job progressing. Uh, across the bottom you'll actually get a percentage of how much is done. You'll actually see the bit moves turn from uh, green to black uh, as they're completed. Uh, you can, during the run you can pause uh, the run. Uh, if you have an issue, um, I've caught something that you know didn't look right or it wasn't cutting or was cutting too, fa too fast, you can pause that job, stop that job, re-zero back to your zero zero uh, origin of your workpiece uh, just by clicking on the move to origin to get to center and then start again. I will say though if you do uh, come up and end up having a, a broken bit or something you will end up having this reset the zero, Z0, zero, uh, but you can do that by going to your center center and resetting the zero. Uh, just bring it down, reset the zero, start and it will uh, continue to run from that. I don't actually go in the code at all and try and pick up where I left off. Uh, maybe on longer hour runs I'll end up doing that, but most of the time my runs are you know hour less than an hour, so I end up just starting them over and running them. So hopefully that helps. If you have any other questions that you'd like to see, um, I could probably do one on the probing. I'm still learning a little bit on how to do that. Uh, I do have the probe, the eBay probe set up on this, so I can do a video on that later. Hope this helps. Thanks.